Welcome to Bintan. Make yourselves comfortable. I will tell you a little bit about the famed jewel of Indonesia which will surely capture your interest. Bintan is the largest island in the Rio province and it is more than twice the size of Singapore. As we travel across Bintan, you'll see that unlike other parts of Indonesia, it is slightly underpopulated with a total count of just around 300,000. Like the rest of Rio, however, Bintan is a true mixture of cultures from Indonesian, Malay, Bugis, and Chinese. The main source of income comes from fishing. This industry started a long time ago, and since then, the process has been refined over time. Meanwhile, in the north-southern part of Bintan, it is still completely covered with tropical rainforest. Ecotourism lies at the heart of Bintan Island. Beautiful beaches and nature's wonders are the order of the day when it comes to this amazing destination. The island also possesses historical significance which dates back to the 16th century when it became the center of trading port in Southeast Asia. Aside from its beautiful beaches, Bintan also has some attractive places such as the Banyan Tree Temple, Sabang Village, Bintan Elephant Park, Masjid Raya Sultan Mosque, and Pasar Ole Ole. It is said that the Banyan Tree Temple can grant wishes and bring good fortune to those who visit it. A must, however, for seafood lovers, Sebang Village is the place to go for the best seafood in Bintan. Home to the eight magnificent Sumatran elephants, they are trained to perform all sorts of delightful tricks. Bintan Elephant Parks offers visitors an exciting and interactive adventure with these gentle beasts. Masjid Raya Sultan Mosque was built into a grand religious monument by the people of Bintan themselves, using raw materials contributed by the locals and neighboring islands. As a result, a mosque was built out of mixtures of egg whites, sand, and lime, which proves to be a solid concoction that withstood the test of time. Literally meaning souvenir market in Indonesian, Pasar Ole Ole is a cluster of local style huts selling all sorts of gift items and souvenirs. The market has four restaurants serving both local and international fare as well as a spa. A visitor center is also available for visitors to check out the island's history through still images and video presentations. Let me move and tell you more about Indonesia. The name Indonesia was derived from Latin word Hindus, meaning India, and the Greek word Nessus, meaning island. Indonesia is a massive country, flying from one end to the other, from North Sumatra to West Papua takes over 12 hours of flying time. Indonesia is an archipelago of around 17,508 islands with a land area of 1,919,440 square kilometers. To put this into perspective, the UK has a land area of 244,820 square kilometers while 